Hello everyone and welcome to Elif's Kitchen. Today I want to share with you my Malba Toast dessert recipe. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications by clicking the bell icon. Firstly, I want to prepare my dessert syrup. I take one and a half cups of sugar in a thick bottomed saucepan. I wait until it melts, as you can see, on medium-high heat. Then, I start mixing it with a wooden spoon. If you don't like the taste of caramel, you can add sugar and water at the same time and prepare our sorbet in this way. Please do not turn up the stove too much. The sugar will burn in an instant and it will give a bitter taste to your dessert. I stir my sugar until it melts and becomes light brown. I will add water when it's light brown. I add 2 cups of water now. The sugar gets lumpy. Don't worry, it will be dissolved in 2 minutes. I boil it for 5 minutes on medium-high heat. Then, I put it aside. Now, I lay a pack of unsalted Melba toast in my rectangular Pyrex. I lined up 14 pieces. Now, I take my sherbet, which has been waiting for 10 minutes, and pour it over the toasts. Now, I'll prepare my pudding. I took a liter of milk in a pot. Let's add 2 full tablespoons of flour and 2 full tablespoons of starch. I'm gonna add 4 full tablespoons of sugar and mix it well with the whisk. I turn on the stove after they mix well. And I keep stirring until it boils. I never stop stirring because it will stick to the bottom and there will be lumping if I do not stir it all the time. After it starts to boil, I add a pack of vanilla and one tablespoon of butter or margarine. I boil for two, three more minutes, stirring occasionally. I take it from the stove later. Let's wait for the first tea to come out for about five minutes. Then. Let's pour the pudding on the toast and spread it well. Now let's prepare the whipped cream. I took one pack of whipped cream powder in the whisking bowl and I add a cup of milk on it and whisk it until it becomes thick. You can also use ready whipped cream of course. Let's spread the whipped cream on the dessert that has cooled completely. It must have cooled down very well, otherwise it will melt the whipped cream. Please pay attention to this detail. I wanted to decorate it this way with the cake shaper. You can decorate it as you wish. I cover it with plastic wrap and put it in the fridge for at least 3-4 hours. If you have time, you can prepare it one day before and keep it in the fridge overnight. It will be much more delicious. I've kept it for a couple of hours and I am now slicing it. I decorated it with ground walnuts. My very practical Melba Toast dessert is ready to serve. I hope you will try and like it. I'm waiting for your likes and comments. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications by clicking the bell icon. Thank you for watching my video.